starting out on FD. Okay, but um, yeah, so this stage definitely allows for a lot of, you know, just shenanigans when it comes to zoning. So that's probably why we want to go here. I'm not entirely sure why um, Chip would like to go to this stage, but it's definitely looking like it's starting to be in a lot more of Brand Flake's, um, you know, favor. Okay, very nice um, getting back from that ledge trap situation right there. Ooh, but not going to get too much off of that down throw into up air. But yeah, it's definitely looking like Chip has been having a little bit of a hard time, but it's nothing a big body can't handle. You know, just allowed to live a little bit longer, you know. Okay. Missed that Lud Trap setup right there, but gonna inhale and just put a lot of damage on, 95%. And going for more inhales. Oh, and this is what I was talking about. Inhale being a major... Big, big, big commitment, and Chip's dying for it right there. But we are going to have... Ooh, that was a very nice ledge trap setup. Going to get that down smash to cover that roll in. But it doesn't even matter because Brand Flake is definitely trying to put on even more damage because big bodies. Big bodies, big bodies, big bodies. Okay, gonna get this ledge trap set up going on. Not gonna get too much with it. But, ooh, very nice, but gonna fumble on that a little bit. Yeah, okay, gonna be looking through the Guayro Film module. So, hello, everybody. I have come in to come talk about the video games with my good friend, Jazzy. <laughs> um, yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't believe you weren't able to get an out of shield punish on that new trailer, especially mm -hmm. from Robin, just like, like so, so safe. We definitely love it. And, yeah, back air. We love that. Um, but I think the thing about, like, Nair 2 is that it's super, it has a lot of pushback on shield, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. And it just makes for a really safe punish sometimes, especially when it's, like, super spaced. So that's definitely one of the good things about Robin. And I definitely think it becomes a little bit more of a um, beneficial thing in this matchup because sometimes DDD... Oh, my is, goodness. Yeah. DDD is so big. I think they would have covered tech in place and roll in. You know, wow. definitely would have. Because we, we can't talk about how big that penguin is. Look at him, look at him. One more time. So y you, set up, uh, you set up the tech chase here, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. You set up the arc fire. At this point, that would have been able to cover the tech in place or at mm -hmm. least put you, uh, you know, the, either like the arc fire detonating on your shield mm -hmm. or going again. That is, that is so rough with DDD. Anybody else in the cast, I feel like they would have been just small enough to be able to go under it, but you just got to hold that. Wow. I mean, that also covers a little bit of like normal get up and then roll. So that. Just so many things are covered because of how big DDD is. Yeah, it's it's kind of tragic. But yeah, that was just game number one, I believe. I just mm -hmm. jumped on in the middle of the set, so um, I was glad I was able to see the end of that game one. I feel like um, a lot of the time, Brand Flake was just doing a lot of like what maybe DDD isn't so good at, which is like, hey, I'm going to keep you in a corner, and I'm also going to jump in on you a lot. Mm -hmm. Look how many falling aerials that Brand Flake was just able to abuse um, against chips because DDD, not a lot of amazing out of shield mm -hmm. options, you know, not necessarily the best horizontal speed in the game. Um, and it can be really difficult to catch people doing that, especially if you get stuck at the edge of the stage so often. So I'm curious to see the adaptations that mm -hmm. chips is going to have to make. That's definitely very interesting. And we're going to small battlefield. And I also feel like a little bit of the thing is that it's definitely going to be a little bit harder for Chips to kind of control neutral. We definitely saw a lot of situations where it was just Brand Flake kind of controlling the narrative, keeping Chips at ledge, just making sure that Chips doesn't have enough time to, you know, set up anything, really. So, and yeah. again, we're just seeing like chips keep going through like a lot of, you know, like the same DDD planking flow chart, which is like, hey, drop down, double jump up there, maybe a quarter or two. And against Robin, that is so difficult. Somebody mm -hmm. that relies on you staying at the ledge as long as possible is going to be able to exploit that. Gets the dash attack on shield, but because that was backwards, you weren't even able to get like a grab out of shield at that point. Wow. Such a good upbeat, though. Mm -hmm. I think that was the invulnerability? Super that invulnerable. Like, yeah, super just a bit of vulnerability. Oh, yeah. Okay, but for sure, gonna get back into this neutral situation right here, trying to fight, you know, his way out of the corner chips, is trying to do a little bit of something. Only 81% on the board, so I feel it might have to take a little bit of a strong read or a backer like that to kind of make it a little bit more even. 
Try to set up for a little bit of a kill right here. Oh, excellent stuff. The Guido, though, dissipating at the last possible second. Brian only going to be getting hit by the F-Tilt. Sets it up again. Almost gets the Guido into the down smash, but just reacting a little bit too late. But that's okay. Sets up the... T oh, my goodness. The edge guard once again. Amazing catch with the back. Hit. And that was just, like, really, like, Chips playing into, you know, what DDD does well, which is, like, keeping you at the ledge, keeping you stuck there. And now Chips is adapting a lot by going for a lot more jump-ins and catching Brian Flake's jumps a little bit sooner. Absolutely. And we're seeing for the first time in this set so far, Chips with a little bit of a lead. And especially since, you know, DDD is a heavy, this is definitely going to look like um, Chips can just um, sustain a little bit more of a lead. Mm -hmm. You know, I like that option. You can get hit. You could just like sort of mash down and uh, just fall out of it. Recycle the situation one more time. Going to be getting the weak hit of side B into the Guido itself. That time around, though, just misangling it. Puyan Flick just able to slip in between the hits and get the KO. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And going to go for that little bit of combo right there. Only putting on 49%. Ooh, but going for a little bit of oh, an edge oh, guard. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Looking scary. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jazzy. <laughs> Jazzy. Oh, that could have ended out so poorly right there. Chips just needed to hold that spike. I think that could have been it. I want to see a replay on that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but just like that, Chips' lead has inevitably dissipated. Now Brian is controlling the stage. Okay, going to be finding the Arc Thunder. One neutral in, has him off stage. How are they going to be able to find this kill? Not quite committing all the way to the down air, but wow. That what, was... What a call out. Woo. Spicy, but going to get that arc fire into up smash. Not really doing too much just yet because we do need a little bit more percent until we see that death screen coming on right here. And it's definitely going to look like a very, very hard uphill to climb for Chips if he oh. wants to. Yeah. No. That was the good grab. Yeah, I feel like at that point, um, Chips just could have gone through like a beefy upbeat, just to maybe mix up uh, Flake at the, like the last second, like maybe knowing that, you know, just saying, hey, you know what, I'm just gonna try to super early through this, get back onto the stage with that. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I feel like, especially in that game too, there was a lot of difficulty when it came to landing. Mm -hmm. um, it's DDD. You know, even though he is a fast follow, the reality is that King DDD does not have too many amazing landing options because mm -hmm. it's either, you know, you just mix up your timing with some of your multi jumps and stalls. But then you saw how it towards the end of that game, Flake was adapting quite well, was just like, you know what, I'm not even mm -hmm. going to jump after you. I'm just going to wait for you to use up your jumps. Mm -hmm. Did that and then was able to find a whole lot of landing catches. Also, like a lot of juggle attempts with mm -hmm. rising up. In. I feel like Chips was opting to go for like a lot more um, fast fall mm -hmm. neutral airs rather than, you know, any like neutral air dodges back to to the ground absolutely oh oh no okay yeah chips held it oh my god that could have oh, been so no. funny okay. that 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 was a missed opportunity right there yeah that was just like a slight case of misangling had chips like when they initiated the um up b itself mm -hmm. just done that just a little tiny bit like less to the left because it's only at like this point that you get to like sort of control the drift, like right over here. Mm -hmm. You don't have to hard angle that to the left. If you did that like a little bit less, like maybe a little bit more towards the middle, um, mm -hmm. I think that would have been just close <laughs> enough to be able to spike you up. But that was almost the funniest exchange that I've seen. Double hit of Guido into mm -hmm. a spike. That could have been a clip, and I'm sad that uh, Chips didn't get it. It, it, it. It's just so sad. And that was the first set of the day too. Yeah. That was a little bit of an interesting set. You know, usually you don't get that many interesting sets, yeah. so that was that was a little bit, you know, a little bit saucy, you know. Fun pool sets are fun sometimes, so uh -huh, that was, uh -huh. I, I definitely <laughs> enjoyed that one. That one was a really good time. But hey, guys, um, I just jumped onto the mic. Um, I, I don't know, I was just in town. I was in the neighborhood, so I, I, I wanted to stop by and say hello, um, talk a little bit about uh, the video games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Jazzy, how are you feeling today? How are you doing? I'm